This is Zeus from Olympus. If you are watching this, keep it to yourself. Greetings, valiant warriors of Dominion. Zeus here, bringing you another insightful video to aid you in your quest for victory. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that many of you have raised, how to effectively counter the formidable Heidi. With recent ascension upgrades enhancing Heidi's already potent skills, understanding the optimal strategies to overcome this adversary is paramount. Before we explore the most effective approaches to triumph over Heidi and his menacing abilities, let's first dissect the ineffective tactics that should be avoided. Heidi boasts a formidable dodge stat, complemented by his violet skill, Spy Camo. This skill grants him camouflage if he remains undamaged for a brief period, progressively increasing his chances of dodging incoming attacks. Each successful dodge not only fortifies his defensive capabilities but also energizes him, allowing for more frequent unleashing of his perilous Death Flower skill. It's important to note that Heidi cannot dodge control effects and becomes fully visible once damaged. His chance to dodge escalates gradually from 20% to a staggering 85%, with the Ascension skill Deadly Spy Camo further boosting his skill damage while camouflage, ranging from 5% to 20%. Now, let's delve into the optimal strategies to counter Heidi's elusive tactics. Recognizing that physical damage plays into his strengths, it's crucial to avoid direct confrontations based solely on physical attacks. Engaging Heidi in this manner will likely result in a flurry of dodges, energizing him rapidly and making him more prone to unleashing his devastating Death Flower skill. Certainly, brave adventurers, let's delve into four strategic approaches to counter the elusive Heidi, and the first in our arsenal is the formidable Satori. In the intricate dance of Dominion battles, Satori emerges as a hard counter to Heidi's slippery maneuvers, equipped with the Violet skill Imminent Reckoning. Satori's Violet skill, Imminent Reckoning, unleashes the power of Fox Fire marks, applying 9 of these marks to enemies each time they gain bonus energy. It's crucial to note that bonus energy does not encompass energy gained from damage dealt to a hero, basic attacks, skill usage, or enemy eliminations. However, Heidi's dodge stat and spy camo skill, which grant him bonus energy while evading attacks, play right into Satori's hands. As Heidi artfully dodges incoming assaults, Satori seizes the opportunity to mark him with fox fire. The chance to apply these marks may see a slight reduction if Heidi's level exceeds 130, but the sheer potency of this skill is not to be underestimated. The Fox Fire marks act as a silent harbinger, heralding the impending doom that Satori is about to unleash upon his elusive adversary. Now, let's shine a light on Satori's lethal white skill, Ravenous Pack. When activated, this skill transforms Satori's base attacks into conduits of magical destruction, dealing magic damage and, more importantly, applying Fox Fire marks to enemies. The culmination of this ability manifests when Satori decides it's time to enact his ruthless vengeance. Each fox fire mark becomes a catalyst for devastation, as the enemies, including Heidi, suffer the consequences of accumulated damage, a staggering 81,293 points per mark. In essence, Satori's strategic brilliance lies in capitalizing on Heidi's reliance on dodging attacks and the subsequent bonus energy gain. By marking Heidi with Fox Fire through Imminent Reckoning and unleashing Ravenous Pack, Satori turns the tables, transforming Heidi's elusive nature into a fatal flaw. This synergy between Satori's skills and Heidi's vulnerabilities demonstrates the intricate and dynamic chess match that unfolds within the realm of Dominion. Brave champions, let us now immerse ourselves in the intricacies of our second strategic approach to thwart the elusive Heidi, an approach that unveils the formidable synergy between the enigmatic Corvus, and the fiery Aiden. This dynamic duo, bound by mystical connections, not only shares health, but orchestrates a dance of divine protection that leaves adversaries like Heidi in the wake of their strategic brilliance. At the core of this synergistic ballet lies Aiden's remarkable skill, Bonds of Flame. Aiden, a master of arcane arts, 
forges a mutual bond with the farthest ally on the battlefield, typically Corvus. This bond transcends the ordinary, it transforms the bound ally into the focal point of Phoenix's embrace, sharing health and establishing a symbiotic link where any healing or damage is seamlessly transmitted between the two. The duo also gains a bonus scaling with their fundamental armor and magic defense stats, cementing an unbreakable alliance. As the battle unfolds, Corvus and Aiden construct a towering reservoir of shared health, forming a bulwark against the onslaught of Heidi's elusive assaults. This reservoir becomes the linchpin for Corvus's masterful skill, Altar of Souls. With a conjuration that transcends the mortal realm, Corvus erects an imposing altar at the center of his team. This sacred monument deals pure damage to any enemy heroes daring to harm the allied heroes. As the altar stands resilient, it draws strength from Corvus's health, a strength magnified by the shared health pool forged through the bonds of Aiden's flames. The brilliance of this strategy shines through, the Altar of Souls becomes a manifestation of divine retribution, its potency escalating with the increasing health pool from the symbiotic link between Corvus and Aiden. However, a crucial caveat emerges, this strategy is effective only when Heidi is not supported by Dorian. If Heidi is bolstered by Dorian's vampiric influence, the dynamic duo's resilience may be compromised, introducing an element of risk. In the intricate dance of Dominion battles, awareness of the enemy's composition remains paramount. For the third strategy, let's wield the power of magic to counter Heidi's elusive dodging. Two effective teams include 1. Aurora, Nebula, Orion, Dorian, and Helios. This team synergizes with celestial protection, offensive boosts, and magical brilliance to overwhelm Heidi. 2. Aurora, Krista, Celeste, Lars, and Martha. This composition combines guardianship, spectral blades, healing, and arcane energy for a versatile magical assault. Beware Rufus as a tank, add Morrigan or Jet to overcome his resistance to magic and pure damage. Exercise caution against Isaac, adapting your team to avoid magic heroes. Our final strategy in the pursuit of victory over the elusive Heidi lies in the art of control. A strategic approach to manipulate the battlefield, control teams can be highly effective if executed with precision. However, beware of potential obstacles within the enemy lineup. If the enemy team boasts Chorus, the formidable team pet, control tactics may face challenges. Chorus's presence can disrupt traditional control strategies, requiring adaptability in your approach. On the flip side, if the adversary fields Sebastian, a window of opportunity emerges. Utilize the biscuit pet, embedded in heroes like Helios, Mojo, or Lian, to systematically dismantle Sebastian's protective shield. Once the shield is shattered, the door opens for a potent control strategy. Enter the dynamic duo of Arachne and Faceless, a combination that can weave a web of stasis upon the enemy team. Arachne's stunning abilities, strategically unleashed, can immobilize the opposition for an extended period. This prolonged stun ensures that the enemy remains incapacitated, providing your team with a significant advantage in dictating the flow of battle. In the ever-evolving chess match of Dominion, adaptability is key. Be mindful of the specific pets and heroes present in the enemy team composition, and tailor your control strategy accordingly. By navigating the intricacies of the battlefield with finesse, you can turn the tide against Heidi and emerge victorious. May your control tactics be precise, your timing impeccable, and your victories resounding on the battlefield of Dominion. Remain legendary, heroes, and may your feats in battle echo through eternity. Signing off, Zeus.